So Wisconsin um, has proposed eliminating a number of child labor laws. Take a look at this. So this is originally reported in Business Insider. Wisconsin Senate approves a bill allowing 14-year-olds to work as late as 11 p.m. And supporters say it could help plug the labor shortage. Now, whether or not there actually is a labor shortage is a separate question, and we'll get to it as we move along here. But let me give you some of what they say. Wisconsin Senate approved a bill on Wednesday that would allow 14- and 15-year-olds to work until 11 p.m. on some days, much later than current laws allow. Supporters of the bill say it could help plug the state's labor shortage. Wisconsin currently sticks to federal child labor laws, as they have to, which stipulate that people under the age of 16 can only work between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. from June 1st to Labor Day, and between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. for the rest of the year. The proposed bill would allow this group to instead work from 6 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. on days before a school day, and 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. when the next day isn't a school day. They go on to say, uh, it's been sent to the Wisconsin Assembly for approval, and the bill would keep in place federal rules limiting teens to three hours of work on a school day, eight hours on non-school days, and six days of work a week. It wouldn't cover businesses that have annual revenues of more than $500,000, or workers involved in interstate commerce who are instead covered by the Federal Fair Labor Standards Act. Hotel and tourism industry lobbyists are, of course, in favor of the bill, but it's opposed by the Wisconsin AFL-CIO uh, and a federation of unions. Now, why would the unions uh, be against it? Well, very simply, this would be child labor undercutting what's supposed to be decent-paying jobs for adult workers. So the Wisconsin Restaurant Association said in June that it supported extending workers' hours for teens to help solve staffing issues. CEO Christine Hilmer said that restaurants across the state had been boosting wages because of their struggle to find staff, noting that some entry-level dishwashers were starting at $15 an hour or higher. Wisconsin currently has nearly 3 million people in employment per preliminary data uh, from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics from August, roughly as many as it did before the pandemic hit. But businesses across the state still say they're struggling to find enough workers. So here's the point. You just heard that last fact. That's super important. Three million people were working before the pandemic. Three million people are working now. But the businesses are saying, we don't have enough workers. Let's bring in some child labor. The real reason they want to bring in the child labor is what? They want to get back to lowering wages. They want to get back to lowering wages. They want to, they'd rather pay some teenager significantly less to do the work then pay an adult a living wage. That's what's going on here. And they're obscuring the conversation and misleading you by pretending, no, 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 this is just because there's a labor shortage and it's not our fault you can't get mad at us because some wages have already been raised. Well, raise them more. Now, if the government wants to do something and get involved here, there's a way the government can get involved. They could say, hey, we're creating a, a subsidy fund four businesses to hire at $23 an hour or whatever the number may be. And so you, the restaurant or the small business, you only have to pick up up to the $15 range per hour and the federal subsidy program will subsidize the rest of the wages up to $23 an hour. I'm just making up numbers here. But you have to hire adult workers. But they're not doing that. The government is not stepping in and saying, let's look out for workers more. The government is stepping in and saying, even though the same number of people are working as before the pandemic and after the pandemic, we know you want to get back to lowering wages, so let's bring in some more child labor, huh? Child labor, nice. Now, this is, to be clear, they're just starting to, like, whittle away at the child labor laws, so there's still, a lot of them would still remain, but understand, this is unconstitutional, because... You have the Supremacy Clause of the Constitution, which says that federal law overrides state law, and federal law is clear. Kids this age cannot work those late hours. That's a fact. But they want to do it anyway. They want the state to override the federal government, which wouldn't hold in a federal court. It just wouldn't. Even conservative justices would say, look, even if I agree with you on the, the idea and the policy, federal law is clear. So if you want to change this, you have to go through Congress to change it, where they would allow something like this. But, I mean, isn't that something? They would rather bring child labor back, make 14-year-olds work until 11 o'clock at night. They'd rather do that 
then raise wages some more for adults. And listen, the inescapable conclusion is that says a lot about capitalism, doesn't it? It really does. It really does. So, this is devastating. This is a, a big, important story, but it's not going to get much coverage anywhere. Because all you've heard is the incredibly biased perspectives of the business owners. You get the elite perspective in elite media, and nobody really gives you the flip side of the coin, which is what you're getting here. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.